This video is on organic chemistry. Organic compounds are chains of carbon atoms. This is an example of a carbon chain in which there are three carbon atoms forming a chain. The carbon atoms can form four bonds and hence the four bond lines per carbon atom. And they are each connected to four different atoms. You get different types of organic compounds which are, and they are also known as homologous series. The first are alkanes. This is when a carbon atom is connected to another carbon atom with a single bond. The second is alkenes, when you have a carbon atom connected to another carbon atom with a double bond. The third is an alkyne, in which carbon atom, there are two carbon atoms connected with a triple bond. The fourth one is a haloalkane. This is where a carbon atom is connected to a halogen. This X is representing any halogen, for example, bromine. Number five is aldehydes. This is where a carbon atom has a double bond to an oxygen atom and connected to another hydrogen atom. The sixth is ketone which is very similar to an aldehyde. In the ketone, a carbon atom is connected to an oxygen with a double bond. The difference between these two is that the aldehyde functional group with its carbon double bond oxygen is at the end of the carbon chain. With number six, the functional group of the C double bond oxygen is in the middle of the carbon chain. The seventh is an alcohol. This is where C or carbon is connected to an OH. Number eight, carboxylic acid, where carbon is connected with a double bond to an oxygen as well as being connected to an OH. An ester is formed when an alcohol reacts with a carboxylic acid and they'll form an ester. The functional group is carbon double bond oxygen, the same carbon being connected to another oxygen, which is connected to a carbon. There are different types. These are all the different types of functional groups. The names of certain functional groups are given here. Only certain functional groups have names. So for the first one, for halo alkanes, we have the functional group of a halogen. Aldehydes and ketones have the functional group of a carbonyl group. Alcohol have hydroxyl group and carboxylic acid have carboxyl group. These, this column represents the intermolecular forces. So alkane, al Keen and alkyne all have London forces between molecules. They are nonpolar molecules and therefore have London forces. Haloalkanes, aldehydes, and ketones all have dipole dipole forces between mole molecules. This is because they are polar molecules and form polar bonds. Number seven and number eight alcohol and carboxylic acids have hydrogen bonds. This is a type of dipole-dipole force, but a special type of dipole-dipole force. It is stronger and is only between alcohols and carboxylic acids. An ester has dipole-dipole forces. Next, we moved on to the types of alcohols. There are three different types of alcohols. You get primary alcohols, secondary alcohols, and tertiary alcohols. Basically, what you're gonna do with your types of alcohols is you're gonna see how many carbons the COH is connected to. So firstly, we need to identify where the COH is in our molecule. In this example, we've identified it to be here. This carbon 
is then connected to only one other carbon, which makes it a primary alcohol. Secondary alcohols, in this example, we have found our COH to be here. We look at that carbon and it is connected to two other carbons, therefore making it a secondary alcohol. In the last example, we, we find our COH over here. And this carbon is connected to three other carbons, making it a tertiary alcohol. The next section are boiling points. When we increase the number of carbon atoms, there's an increase in boiling point. For example, a chain of five carbon atoms will have a higher boiling point than a chain of three carbon atoms. The next is higher chain length leads to higher boiling point. This is assuming that we have the same number of carbon atoms. This is when we have a long straight chain compared to a shorter chain with different branch lengths leading off the main chain. The longer chain length, the longer straight chain will have a higher boiling point than the shorter chain with branches. And then finally, the stronger the intermolecular forces are between the molecules, the higher the boiling point will be. So if we go back to our different intermolecular forces, London forces are weaker, well, the weakest of them all. Dipole-dipole forces are stronger than London, but weaker than hydrogen bonds. And hydrogen bonds are therefore our strongest intermolecular force. We then move on to isomers. Isomers are two molecules that have the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. In other words, this means they have the same number of carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms, and oxygen atoms in the organic compound, but they are set up and structured differently. Isomers are broken into three different parts. The first type is a chain isomer. This is where they have different chain lengths. So if we look at these two examples, over here there are four carbon atoms, and over here there are also four carbon atoms. However, in the first one, they form a straight chain, and in the second one, they form a shorter chain with a branch. These two show that they have the same amount of hydrogen and carbon atoms, but are structured differently. Therefore, chain isomers. The second type is positional isomers. This is when the functional group is in a different position on the chain. If we look at these two examples, our functional group would be the OH. Now this OH is in the middle of this carbon chain and it is on the end of this carbon chain. So this shows that they are different structures, but they have the same molecular formula because they have the same number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. The last type is functional isomers. This is when you have the same molecular formula, but the compounds belong to different functional groups. And they are parts of different homologous series. So the first type is when you have an ester and a carboxylic acid. This is because a certain ester can have the same amount of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen atoms as another carboxylic acid but obviously they would be structured differently because they are different groups. And the second type is ketones and aldehydes. Ketones and aldehydes can have the same number of carbon atoms with their double bond oxygen being in different places and therefore making them be different functional groups. 
therefore therefore be functional isomers.